Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about a steady state on saturated flow. And this is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. Okay, in the previous uh, lecture, we discussed about the Buckingham Dorsey's equation that is expressed as Q is equal to minus KH times DH over DZ plus one. And KH is the uh, unsaturated hydraulic conductivity. Okay, so you can easily rearrange this equation and express it in this format that is DH divided by one plus Q divided by KH is equal to minus DZ. Okay, and you can take the integral from each side of this equation, okay, like this one we did here, and with the proper limit, that is from Z1 to Z2, from H1 to H2, okay, and this is the called the integral form of the buckingham dorsey equation, okay, so in this equation, KH, uh, you can use uh, several parametric models, like Van Genochten model, or Brooks and Corey's model, and etc., uh, to describe the, the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity, but there are some, some parametric model that allows you to, uh, to provide analyticals, to obtain analytical solution for this integral. And one of them is Gardner's model that is expressed as KH, that is the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity is equal to KS, that is saturated hydraulic conductivity times E with the power of beta H and H is the magic potential and beta here is, the, is, is a fitting parameter uh, related to the soil properties, okay? So here I'm going to solve an example to show how to use uh, the equation for um, uh, uh, a steady state unsaturated flow. Okay, so, and for that, we wanted to consider the case of water evaporation from soil surface in the presence of a fixed water table. Okay, so in the presence of a shallow water table, the rate of evaporation may attain a nearly constant value if the external condition, climatic, and the soil surface remains, uh, remain fairly constant. So basically it says that under the fixed atmospheric condition, that means humidity, temperature, and so on, everything is constant. Your water table as well is constant. Uh, under certain conditions, the, uh, the water evaporation from soil surface in this condition, uh, uh, we can assume is constant. We did actually a lot of research and work on this uh, evaporation process from soil and evaporation in the presence of the water table and so on, but of course, uh, we are considering a very uh, simple scenario here, uh, which is the uh, which is in line with the scope of this course. But for those who are interested, uh, you can um, of course find a lot of uh, papers uh, on this very exact uh, topic. Okay. Anyway, so. Under the assumption of a steady state, so here it's not end of the world, we assume uh, we have a steady state condition because external condition is constant, water table is fixed, evaporation is constant. So we can, under the assumption of a steady state flow condition, meaning a constant upward evaporative flux, which is equal to the uh, Q, that is the Dorsey velocity uh, or, or velocity through this unsaturated zone, the question is calculate the maximum evaporation flux using the solution of buckingham dorsey's flow equation, okay? So, uh, so the question is, what is the maximum evaporation flux from such a system, okay? And since it is a steady state condition, and since it is unsaturated flow condition, so you can use this buckingham dorsey's equation, okay, we had it before, and then you express the integral, integral form of Dorsey's, uh, the buckingham dorsey's equation, like that one. So you have this equation, you rearrange it with this one and you put the integral we did it actually in the previous slide that's exactly this one here as you can see you can uh, rearrange this equation like that take the integral put the limit of the integral and so you have this one okay but here uh, the challenge is what function you wanted to use for the saturate for the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity and since we wanted to derive analytical solution uh, as i mentioned we can use this uh, uh, gardner's model that is kh is equal to ks times e with the power of beta uh, h uh, to express the unsaturated hydraulic conductivity so if you substitute this equation here into this previous equation here you see here if instead of kh i put ks times uh, e with the power of beta h you can rewrite this integral as this form, okay? Because uh, that uh, K, uh, the Ks remains here, but uh, times E with the power of beta H will be E with the power of minus beta H because you bring it to the top, right? And the, in, the, in terms of the limit of the integral, let's assume the surface of the soil here, let's assume this is equal to zero, 
And uh, the depth of the uh, water table here, let's say this is equal to L. Okay, the distance is equal to L, right? And uh, and uh, so that that means um, that means here. So we basically uh, write the integral from uh, any depths below the surface up to the water table, and the water table depth is minus L. Remember, this, the the surface is zero, and since the water table is downward, therefore the location will be minus L here. And at the location Z below the surface, the matrix potential is presented by HC. And at the water table, let's present it by H at minus L. And we know that is equal to zero. Why? Because as we discussed several times in the previous lectures, at the water table, the, the, the H is equal to, the matrix potential is equal to zero, okay? So, so this integral, integral of DZ is very easy. <laughs> that is just Z. And, and you, 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 if you uh, plug these uh, limits of the integral, you get L plus C, okay? And this one, this integral, you can easily uh, find the solution of this integral in the table of integrals, okay? Uh, and, and, uh, and so there's an analytical solution for that. And then you can plug the, the limits of the integral here. And if you do this algebra, you'll end up with this equation. Uh, that is HC, uh, the matrix potential at any given depth below the surface is equal to this expression. Okay, so remember the question was, and by the way, as you can see here, the flux, the, the Q here is limited by the, by the depth of the water table, for example, L, and also the soil property, which is reflected in this parameter beta, because that is the fitting parameter used for the, to express the um, unsaturated hydraulic conductivity as a function of the, uh, yeah, as a function of the, uh, other parameters in the in the in the uh, Gardner's model as a function of the KS as a function of the uh, matrix potential and also this fitting parameter. Anyway, the question was, what is the maximum what uh, for evaporative flux? The question is calculate where is it? Calculate the maximum evaporation flux using the solution. So here, uh, so the maximum flux, the maximum evaporation flux, you can imagine that happens when the, uh, when the uh, matrix potential at the surface goes to minus infinity. Because at the water table, the, 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 the matrix potential is zero. So if at the surface you have the minus infinity, the matrix potential, that provides the maximum evaporative fluxes. And when you look at this equation, uh, uh, um, so if this H at the surface should be equal to, at, at Z equal to zero, this H should be equal to minus infinity. And that happens only if this expression in the bracket is equal to zero, because L and zero will be minus infinity, okay? So, and under that condition, the Q will be equal to basically E max here, okay? And the Q will be equal to E max here. Okay, and z is equal to zero. So basically, you, know, you need to equate this expression in the bracket equal to zero, and and in a set of q, just you present it by e max, and in a set of z, you put zero, and 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 if you do that, then you can calculate e max as a punk of, as a function of the other parameters left in that expression, and which will be equal to ks times this expression. Again, uh, there is a little a uh, little bit of algebra here. You can uh, you can express this equation as ks divided by uh, exponential beta uh, e with the power of beta times l minus one. Okay, and as you can see here, as the l increases, in other words, as the depth of the water table increases, uh, the the maximum evaporation rate decreases. And this is the uh, the, the solid line here uh, is the uh, prediction. And the, the in this in this figure uh, and the and the and the symbols here are the experimental data and this figure comes from uh, this paper that is Gardner and Fireman 1958. Okay, so this was just an example where you can use uh, the equation for a steady state unsaturated flow to describe uh, yeah in this particular case uh, uh, maximum evaporation flux uh, uh, as a function of the depth of the water table, uh, Ks saturated hydraulic conductivity of the soil, and beta, that is the fitting parameter used in the Gardner's model. Okay, I hope uh, you found this video uh, helpful. Thank you.